Well, good morning, guys. Matty B here, and be hooked. Today's mission is to fill the esky up. I have got no fish at home. So I'm down my local, the place I know, like the back of my hand. And I just want to put some fish in the esky, fill it in tomorrow, and have fresh fish for dinner. And hopefully we can get it done today, guys. It's not my favorite tide, but it is a good tide. It's not too bad of a tide. I don't mind it. So let's get it done. Bit of snag bash. I'm going to sound out a lot of fish too as well. Hope we can come up the goods because honestly, I opened the freezer about three days ago and there was one bag left and that was only a small bag as well. So yes, I'm going to be keeping fish today. I need food. So let's get it done. Maybe one nice one in there and there's a handful in here. And then there's a handful amongst the snag. But there's some sitting underneath that tree and the back there. So I'll let the tide drift it in and see if I can get in there. Nicely. That's perfect. Oh, straight away. That did not take long. First cast in there. Just had to reassess where they're sitting. Gotcha. Yes, finally. Always one of the smaller ones, but it's still one. Oh yes, there's dinner. Dinner is served. I've got to get it in the boat actually first before I talk like that. Oh. Just went to get the lantern net. Man, that sucks. I spoke too soon, eh? That's what you get, speaking too soon. God damn it. I should have loosened the drag up because it was out in the open. I ripped it, I ripped it out of his because it didn't do nothing. I've got to loosen the drag. Loosen the drag a little bit more. Not too much. Man. That sucks. I thought I had him too. Not a barra, something tiny, cod. Oh. Oh. This is not the first fish I wanted to put in the boat. Oh. I lost the barra. Spewing, man, spewing. The struggle is real. They have got severe lockjaw. Might be late this afternoon, the bite, but it's not happening this morning. I had that one opportunity, got that baby cod. Like honestly guys, I'm finding them on the sounder. There's no problems, that's the easy part. <sighs> They're just not biting, it's that moon phase I'd take it. That turn, um, the time of the day, it's just they're not, they're not on. So I'm left with one option, or well, two options, but one option is gonna be my main one. Snag bashing or frogging. And the tide is high enough to frog Probably paid a frog before the tide starts up, before the wind starts picking up. But frogging is a hard deal sometimes, so I might just go snag bashing. Because I've got the big esky. The big, the big esky is here. It's right down there. I'm ready to load it up. Give me three, four bar and a couple of jacks. And I'll be right for a couple, on like a month or two. But that's not happening. What do you do? Well, at least the rain's staying away. It's been pissing down the last couple of days and it's just staying away. The, the creek's actually stayed pretty clean. But, I don't know. Might go adventuring right up the creeks, snag bashing. See how we go. Right, while the wind's really calm, I'm just gonna go along this bank, do a little bit of frogging. This is just a prime, it looks like a prime bank. I've never frogged it to be honest before, but I was talking to Hayden a couple of weeks ago and he reckons it just looks primo so he wanted to give it a crack as well so I'm going to give it a crack. 
Just a nice bunch of mangroves just laying over. Just try and move nice and steady, going against the current. And just slowly backhand my way in there. Oh, little brimbo it looks like. Little brimbo. Hungry little bugger. That was a good jack. He snagged me straight up, man. He smacked that. <clears throat> Rightio, I'm getting desperate. I'm going to some well-known spots and you've seen me fish here before. I need I need a bar in the bloody Asky. It's getting ridiculous. It's about 8.30. Uh, sorry, 9.30 at the moment. So I've been three hours on the water, three hours plus, and still haven't put a bar in the boat, unfortunately. But the sun's coming out, it just rained and now the sun's out. Did find some in my well-known area. You've seen me fishing in the past. I just, I want a bar in the boat and then I'm gonna go exploring other places, but I need that bar in the boat. So, where's me prawno? There he is. Righto, come on. Work wonders. Gotcha. Finally got a bear. Oh man, he swam towards me. He's a solid one too. Oh yeah. Just gotta keep him on here now. But no, I, I changed the, um... Don't you dare. God, he's got some pepper in him now. He's realised how good he's hooked. Don't jump again, please. I don't want to lose ya. Come on. Land the nets right here. Finally, guys, finally. Oh, don't go that way. Just land ya. Get it ready. You keep taking drag, it's all right. You tie yourself out. And when I lift you, you come straight in. Oh, please don't. Come on, darling. I'm hoping it's not too big. If it's over 80, I... I don't really want to take it home, to be honest. Look at that. That's a solid barthy. He's tied. In the net, yes. Oh, took me about three hours this morning to get this girl. Corner of the lip, perfect. That is heavenly, guys. Whew. Man. Took me all morning. Oh no, that just fell out. What the hell? I didn't even have him hooked. Unless it come off in the net. Ye beauty. Look at that for a solid buzzy, guys. You'd be close to 78 maybe, 79. If he's um, on 80 the mark, on the 80 centimeters of mark, I will keep it. But if it's over 80 centimeters, I'm gonna let it go. So. I'm just dying for fish. I need fish in the freezer, but put a measuring stick on him and hope that he's under 80 centimeters. So I want to be the shortest you possibly can. That's 79 centimeters and he's coming home. He is 79 centimeters. That is awesome. I've got to feed. Um, if you don't know, any bears that usually go over 80 centimeters. Whew, he's feisty. Anyway, if you don't know any rule that I, this is just a personal rule in my boat. If it's over 80 centimeters, I like to put them back. Um, I just, I believe that they are just turning into breeders, into the female 
or getting close to it. So I don't take them. Um, I do take them if they're 58 or 59 on the dot. I'm happy to do that and anything in between, but anything over 80 centimeters. Majority of the time I'll throw them back, but I won't deny when Marty, my brother, um, not Marty Price, another brother, and Chinny are with me, and when the boys are with me, they'll take anything and everything because they don't go fishing a lot. And anytime they do catch fish, they will keep it and it will last them a long, long, um, long time. So if you have seen previous old videos of Marty and Chinny and that, um, you know, we've kept a couple of 90s. So, but they, they will probably, they'd probably fight me in the boat if I threw them back. So, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm keeping this one. It's going to be a good feed. Oh, let's see if we can get another one. A little bit of fray on it, not too bad, but see how we go. God, the sun is out and shining hard. Got you again, another one. Oh yeah. Oh, that was the very next cast off that last barra. Man, what's he doing? He's going ballistic. Oh, bull shark on him. Bull shark on him. Oh, let the drag out, let the drag out. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Oh, he's got it. He got it, the bull shark got it. Fucking bull shark. You're fucking kidding me. Man, these fucking pricks. He's still on there. He's still there. He just hugged up against the bank. He's still there. He got away. He got away. How am I gonna do this? He's just, he's tucked right up in there. I'll get that landing net ready. If I can reef him in. Fucking bull shark. Um, bit of fishing line there in my way. Rightio. Let's go. Oh, he's over there. He's peeled me all the way through these mangroves, man. No, nah, he's gone. Yeah, I'm left with nothing. Bloody bull sharks, eh? Hey? You can't beat them sometimes. I didn't even see him on the sander earlier when I first rocked up here, but I did bleed that barra in the in the bait tank. So the blood feeds out and, but not only that, the barra jumping around would have attracted him from wherever he was from. They, they extend it from a mile away. But the big thing is don't feed him. If you notice, I clicked my drag, um, went into free spill and just let it, hopefully let it go to the bank and just survive. Um, doesn't look like it did. It might have because I felt like it was on earlier, but the bull shark would have been circling him. I hope he got away. So I hate feeding them. And I think letting them crush your barra for entertainment, I think it's stupid, but what do you do? Anyway, get a phone call. Um, right, I'm here at my nemesis tree. It didn't get washed away in the flood. Thank you very much. Didn't see any bull sharks, but I think if I do hook up one, 
might just start the outboard and rev it a little bit and it might just deter the um, bull sharks away I'm hoping um, I'm going to tuck that hook in just a little touch because it is super snaggy down there just a massive tree man it's like four or five branches down underneath it too and let's see if we can go first cast on it and not get snagged up it's about three and a half meters deep so i gotta let it sink for a bit but i don't want to go too deep there you go i'm just over a snag then oh another one oh my god you can't and another one what do you do man and another one you can't stop it hey eh? you just what I'm gonna do is lock me drag in a bit but I can't put stingers on to get these bigger girls they're not giants in there to be honest have a look on the sander they're probably about 80 to 90 otherwise I'd have stinger lures on big minnows big jerk baits you name it man but you can't do it you can't do it in this place Gotcha. I'm on, I'm on. This is a good one. Oh, he's over the snag. Oh man, he's running towards me. Man, he's going back in. He's gone in, he's gone in. He's gone into the snag. Look, he's over the other side there. What am I supposed to do here? This is what I mean. Just gotta let him run. He's in there. He's still on there. Oh, he's off. He snapped me. Ah! This is exactly what I mean, man. You can't stop him in this nemesis tree, man. I'm telling you, you just can't. Like, I he went over the snag and I was going towards him to get away from it and he just bolted straight back towards me, straight under into the snag and... Oh, man. I'm out of here. I'm jigging up again. This is, you can't stop them. Like my drag was nearly locked. You know, what, what do you do? You, what do you do? Bloody hundred pound hand line to get these bastards out. Just hold on to them, straighten hooks. I don't know. Oh, I've had me vent. Oh, nemesis. I won't lie. She's a bit of a um, tough day today, but that I was expecting that to be honest. Um, did miss it, like one to the bull shark, missed a good doink and just got railed into the nemesis. But I have got that one barra, so I'm gonna go right out the front now, I reckon, give it a crack while the fresh is up the back here. Get that little bit of opportunity while the fresh um, doesn't hit the front. But I literally only got maybe an hour left in this system and I gotta get out of here because it's just the shallowest piece of crap of a creek to get into. So, and I've been stuck here many, many times before in the past many, many times. So let's go ahead and start. Well, I don't have much time in here. Probably literally got an hour, if that. That's been lucky. I just went over a pretty sketchy sandbar to get out of here. But I'm gonna give my old, um, faithful old snag. I, I did this one blindfolded if you've seen previous episodes. Because, if you recall, I still only got one fish in the bloody esky, but hoping there's a few around this one usually always produces uh, not always but pretty common and they're good maybe 58 60 centimeter barrels so hopefully we can get one to bite because i need another one i do i need another one i'd be happy with one more oh got a little tap got a little tap there's only a little tap Oh yeah, gotcha. Yes, don't think it's a barabat. If it is, it's a small one. 
A bit of cod. Oh, flatty. No. Cod. Of course it is. Not even legal. I can't even take you home. Borderline 35. Maybe 35. Oh, 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 oh! This girl's just scratching my fingers. One cod down. Well, two cod down, actually. I got one this morning, didn't I? Had a phone call, Clint. He doesn't live far from here, so he's gonna come down the boat ramp. We're gonna go pick him up. I'm just gonna hit this for another half an hour. Try and get another Bazzy out in the esky. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's like a jack or another cod. It is a codville down there. Oh, that's a jack. If he's legal, he's coming home. Oh yes, come on, get in there. Oh, I don't think you're legal. Oh, I don't think you're legal, buddy. Oh my God. Is he legal? He's 820. I don't think he's legal. 32 or something. No, oh, he's... No, he's not. Because if I push him up, he's 34. God damn it. There you go, buddy. Man, they're just not biting today. The struggle is real. The day I want to keep fish is the struggle. Who would have known? Anyway, late afternoon might be the gun, I think. So let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> Rightio, Clint's on board. Brand new reel, brand new rod, brand new braid. We got to put the braid on and we got to catch a barra. You may know Clint from some very old episodes. Um, he went MIA for a little while, working overtime like a kind of cat goat. <laughs> so, we'll get into it and hopefully come up with the goods. Have done it, done no, it. digital control. Oh, we didn't trust it for a bit, eh? No? No, I was oh. Oh, you had your bum resting on it, did you? I was scared, you know? <laughs> scared of the bird's nest. So I was no, this is why they frog, they frog with them now. They use them for frogging. You heard the saying, all the gear and no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's me. <laughs> well, I'm feeling that bit weight today. All the gear with no idea. I can't even catch a fucking fish. Hey, you got a good one in the esky. I got a good one in the esky, and that was the lucky one, I think. Oh, or the unlucky one. <laughs> that's amazing. I know. You just don't know thumb, eh? Just, no. You can just launch it. Yeah. Try it, really test it, throw it into the wind. I don't want to push it. P just push it to see it's, what it's capable of. See how far I can push this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be picking it out for the next two hours. No, you won't. That's what it's about. <laughs> throw it straight into the wind. I want to see if it works. And don't put your thumb on it, launch it. Not even close. Wow, we. Into the wind, too. It's a gift from heaven, isn't it? <laughs> if you can put up that noise, yeah. I don't care about the noise. Yeah, it's true. You can throw it, no matter what, you're I never going to get spilled up now. I can turn a blind eye to the, to the <laughs> noise, a blind ear. Yep. Earplugs. It's worth it. Oh, yeah, they do too, yeah. Cracking or something? Yeah, yeah. Cracking? Something like that. Good man. Guys, this is Alex. Alex is actually a young YouTuber, SC Fishing. So go to his channel, subscribe, check him out, because he actually done really good this afternoon. Outfished me and Clint pretty easily, so go check him out. He's on. There's a bull shark around too. Yeah, he got me before. 
No good. Yeah, I know. Trey! Three of them rocked up. Straight up, eh? Mm. Just me beer too, actually. I've got to pick my new rod up today. Oh, beside you. Yeah, he's got to lift it straight. What is it, a magnet? Suction? Yeah, just suction. Just there can't knock go. it over. I need to lift it straight up. Just straight up. Not bad. And then you drop it. Straight up. Is it a good curl or not? Yeah, it is actually. Keeps cool. Yeah, it's like one of those jetties. Yeah, they reckon they're brilliant. This aren't they? is a um, fucking toadfish. Yeah. Get the dog. <laughs> Oi! Hey, he just jumped out of the net. Well done, man. Finally. Fuck yeah. I just want to go up beside him, rooster toweling, if I can see you later. Huh? What? I just want to go up beside him, rooster toweling, because I've been struggling all day. Yeah, he yeah. came out of nowhere. It hurts. It does it hurt. hurt, and it happens. It does. That's life. Yeah. I'm actually happy for him, but I'm not a deep head. down, I want to... I want him to fall then. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's standing right on the edge. <laughs> Let's just say, if this person is watching this video, we're good. Actually, we actually like you. We actually like you, but like. <laughs> and you've had a lucky spot. But I've been struggling all day. <laughs> you probably will watch this. No, no, we really like him. I am honestly happy for him, but I've been struggling all day, man. <laughs> If he beats us back to the boat ramp, your tyres will be flat. <laughs> I got my car there, I'm right. You'll have to sleep there. Uh, I'm going walkabout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're unreal, eh? Yeah, he went past. He gotcha. No good, eh? Where's one of them cuts biting you? Yeah, I know. Ooh. Close to you, man. <laughs> right. Have a go at him now. Pies. I'll hold him. Come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just went the fuck out of me. <laughs> Bloody turtle. Wish it was a bar. You've had plenty of those, <laughs> alright? I might just break it off. It might be easier off. Yeah. Just, just give it. it one big hard yank. We'll cut it, yeah. Grab a knife. Clint will cut it close to his leader. I'm not a fucking motor. <laughs> I'll lift it, man. <laughs> Where's your dagger, Alex? You got one in there? Alright, side cars beside me. Have ya? You deal with that. A little rusty up. Yeah. Thank you. Too easy, man. Have a good one. Yeah, we're out. Yes, yeah, so I'm on after that. I lost too many levels. <sighs> I'm sick of watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, man. Well, I think I'm going to call it a day. Struggled a little bit in the afternoon. Um, 
unfortunately didn't get Clint a barra on his new reel. Uh, we just sat there and watched Alex Scully just catch barra after barra. It was good to watch anyway, then he got a turtle at the end. But, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until next time, I'm out. I do